today we will study from page number 58 on pdf lesson number 14 on the book asked read this if noon was sakin of tanwin comes before ba then it's pronounced mean yes so basically this lesson is not very important just the end of the book and for let me tell you we will pronounce it like this uh, first uh, read the first sentence how will you read it the first uh, Ras rasul this one first sentence in arabic okay uh, in chapter 14 yes Yes, Rasul and Bima. But uh, today there is a little difference here because uh, you see um, a very small meme written on Lam. Do you see it? Yeah. Yes. When we have this meme, we will pronounce as Rasulum. We will pronounce it Rasulum. Okay. So this is a just a, okay. this is the only new thing that we will study today. Similarly, in the other on the next word we have again a very small meme written along with noon. So we will uh, not read ba, but we will read it um um ba um. So we will also read meme um ba ah um. Then again on the noon we have meme. So we will pronounce it. Mim badihi. So basically, we are skipping noon. When we have noon, when we have small meme on noon, we are skipping noon. Mim badihi. In the next word, we have meme on alif khabiram basira. So we are skipping alif here. Khabiram. On in the next word, we have meme on scene. We will pronounce pronounce it like this. Nafsum, nafsum, bima. In the next word we have sum bulatin, sum bulatin. Then raj um, raj um, ali mum bima, kana tum bima. So um, basically, when we have meme on noon, we skip. We are skipping noon. But when we have meme on other words, we will merge it with meme. So this is the only thing. Did you understand? Uh, yeah, a little bit. Yes. Listen again. When we have meme on noon, we are skipping noon. Noon becomes silent. But when we have meme on some other alphabets, uh, this small meme. On other alphabets, we are merging meme with that alphabet. For example, in the first word, we have meme on lam. So we will merge lam with meme. Rasulum bima. Here I am merging meme with lam. In the second uh, word, we have meme on noon. So I will skip noon. I will pronounce ambahum. In the third word, I, again I have meme on noon, so I will skip noon. I will pronounce mim badihi. Mim badihi here noon becomes silent. In the next word, we have meme on alif. Here I will merge alif with meme. Khabiram basira. Yeah, basiran. Khabiran basiran. Then we have meme on seen. I will merge meme with seen. Nafsum bima. Then we have meme on noon, so I will skip noon. Sum bulatin. Now start reading from the top. Okay. Rasulum bima. Okay. Amba ahum. Amba ahum, good. Mimbadi he good. Mimbadi he um, Khabiram Basiram good. Nafsum 
Nafsum Bima. Yes. Sumbulatin. Oh, sumbula. Okay. Raj, um, Rajum Good. Yes. Anazira. Tum. Tum. Bi. Biha. Bima. Bima. Yes. Read this last word again. Bima. Yes, Bima. Okay, good. Now proceed to the next page. Read this. The small alphabet. Read this one. Okay. The small alphabet noon in between two alphabets is joined with the alphabet coming next to noon. It is called noon kutni. Kutni. Kutni and will be pronounced with kasra. Yes. So basically this is another small alphabet just like in the previous page you learned about small meme now you will learn about small noon no nib no ho no nib no ho kadiru nilazi kadiru nilazi masala nil kaumi this is everything just like sima common noon khaira nil wasiyatu yo ma easy nil masaku shay a nitta khaza read it from the top okay okay the small alphabet noon in between two Yes. Masala. Masala. Nil nil kami. Kami. Majwa with kaf. Wasi yatu. Wasi yat. Oh, we wasi yatu. Yo ma. Is that an S? Yo ma easy nil masaku. Yes. Then on the next page we have exercise number fourteen. Start reading it. Bima, yes, correct. Mim ba di hi. Mim 
baad baadihi amba amba hum ahum amba ahum I would um Khabiram. Yes. Khabiram. Yes, good. Khabiram. Khabiram. Basiram. Yes. Umbulati. Yes. Nafsum. No, nafsun bima. Yes. Rajmun bi bidun. No, wrong. No. Rajum ba i dun. Ba fata ba. Okay. Raj um bi. Ba. Ba i dun. Ba i dun. Yes. Ba i dun. Yes. Yes. Fadiru nil nilaza nilazi. Yes. Khaira min nilwasi ya tu. Yes. Masala nil nil kaumi. Masala nil kaumi. Masala nil kaumi. Yes. Yoma Izi Yumasa Ku. Yes. Feya Feya Nil Nila Khaza. No, no, no. Wrong. So is it Shay or is it Shay? How do you pronounce the again? First word is correct. Shay-a. It is correct. Then you have made mistake. Shay-a. Oh, nit. It's nit-a. Haza. Yes, correct. Shay-a nit-a haza. Correct. Okay. Then we have next lesson, lesson number 15. When we stop at Ronta, it will be pronounced like Ha. So basically, it's telling you that when Ta is at the end of the word, we will not pronounce Ta, but we will pronounce it as Ha. For example, first word. Look at the first word. How will you pronounce it? Yes, you pronounce it like Kuwatan, but it is written like this. Good. But when we pronounce it, we will pronounce it Kuwa, just like uh, the one written below it. Okay? So, 
वी राइट इट लाइक कु वतन बट वी प्रोनाउंस इट लाइक कु ओके सो रिमेंबर वेन दिस राउंड था इज एट द एंड वी प्रोनाउंस इट लाइक हा सो कु वतन इज रिटन बट प्रोनाउंस कु सिमिलरली इन द नेक्स्ट वर्ड अल कॉरिया टू इज रिटन बट अल कॉरिया इज प्रोनाउंस्ड देन काली मतन इज रिटन बट काली म इज प्रोनाउंस्ड शिर आतन इज रिटन बट शिर अ इज प्रोनाउंस्ड खली फतन इज रिटन बट खली फा इज प्रोनाउंस सो नव ओनली प्रोनाउंस्ड द प्रोनाउंसिएशन ऑफ दिस वर्ड ओके Yes, yes. Kuwa. Yes, kuwa. Correct. And the next one is that the same? Yes. Okay. Kuwa. So, did you did you understand what is the difference between both kuwa tan and kuwa? Um. Yeah. I mean, you don't. You just don't pronounce the. When, you don't pronounce. You just pronounce ha at the end instead of. Kuwatan is the spelling of the word. Okay, Kuwatan is the spelling of the word. Kuwa is the pronunciation of the same word. Just like in English dictionary, we have a word. Then after that, we see the pronunciation of that word, which is we had different spelling. Same thing is here. Kuwatan is the word, but Kuwa is the pronunciation of this word. Okay. So we have only one word here. So uh, under each word, they have written its pronunciation. Oh, okay, I get you. Yes. And then pronounce the next word. Alkaria. Correct. Okay. Then. Kalima. Correct. Hira. Correct. Khalifa, correct. So in this lesson, you learn that when round ta is at the end, uh, we pronounce ha. Now proceed to the next page. The small alphabet seen is written above sword, and this sword can be read as seen or sword. For example, in the word yab sutu, we have sword, but on the sword we have a very small seen. So it is up to you whether you pronounce. Is like swad, or whether you pronounce it like seen. So ignore this lesson. Just read it. Yab sutu, bas tatan, bi musai tirin, omul musai tirun. Just read these words. Okay. Yab sutu. Yes. Yasutu. Yes. Bas. No yes. Bas ba. I okay. Bas ta. Tan. I don't pronounce that at the end. Oh, yes, no good. Basta, good. Okay. Um. Bimus, bimus si, tirin. Bimus say tirin. Humul. There's nothing above the M, so. Humul Musai Tirun. There's a Dhamma on me, but it is not written. Humul Humul Musai Tirun. Musai Tirun. Yes. Proceed to the next page. We have exercise number 15. Read this exercise. Kuwa. Kuwa. Yes. Alkaria. Yes. Kalima. Yes. 
Shira. Yes. Khalifa. Yes. And then. Wayab. Wayab Satu. Wayab Sutu. Yes. Wayab Sutu. Basta. Yes. Timusaiti. Pirin. Yes. Humul Musay Tira Tirun. Yes, Humul Musay Tirun. Okay. So here we have completed this book. So the better you have learned this lesson, the better you will read Arabic and the better you will recite Arabic. Okay? Yes. Now open the page that I send you. Try to read it. Not, not the book, right? Just the page? Or? Yes, just the page that I send you in the form of a picture. Okay. okay. This picture is taken from this book. This is the screenshot of this book. First lesson of this book. Alright. I'm just trying to flip the picture over one second. Yes. By the way, did you download the book? Yes. 